Welcome to the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast with your host, Laura Waldman, where we talk all things money. Big money, big purpose, big power. Waking up your wealth for heart-centered business owners and entrepreneurs. In today's episode, you are going to discover the fortune in your feelings and learn how to feel your feelings in a way that's going to work for you rather than against you and uncover how your feelings are an important gateway to money manifestation mastery, how to feel your way into your fortune and create the wealthy life that you truly desire in your business, in your finances, all areas of your life. Let's dive in. I am a very emotional person. I am a deep feeler. And I always have been. But I grew up in a house where the only feelings or emotions that were allowed were happiness and joy. But I didn't have just happiness and joy. I had the full spectrum of emotions. Sadness, anger, rage, frustration, guilt, shame, loneliness, fear, all sorts of wild and wonderful feelings. But anything that wasn't happiness or joy was shut down, punished, or shamed. So a long time ago, I learned that my full spectrum of feelings, my full expression of myself was not allowed or not welcomed. I shut them down, locked them away, and did my best to bury them. This led me to all sorts of addictive patterns of behavior around food, drugs, alcohol, making some pretty questionable choices in my life. And it wasn't until I discovered meditation and then healing modalities after that that I started to unlock and feel these feelings that I'd shut away a long time ago. So slowly and painfully, I began a journey of feeling my feelings, which, trust me, I didn't want to feel. But what was happening for me on the surface level were eating disorders, severe gut health issues and digestive issues, thrush, vaginal thrush, which was incredibly uncomfortable, big emotional mood swings, ups and downs, essentially feeling terrible all of the time. And when I began my spiritual journey, first meditating, which I absolutely hated, and then discovering the world of healing, that I found a safe space to start what I like to call defrosting my feelings. And what I found is underneath the surface symptoms of ill health, emotional challenges, mental health issues, addictive patterns of behavior, self-harm, etc., were feelings that I had locked away and buried. So I started to create safety around the process of feeling feelings, releasing them through my body, letting them go, and then feeling a lot better. And as a healer, what I did was I held space for people to to let go of trapped energy, energy that they'd locked in their body. And they'd locked energy in their body because there were feelings that they weren't allowing themselves to feel. So my clients at that time in my 20s when I first started my career as a healer would come to me with anxiety or they'd come to me with depression or deep grief. And we'd go in and work with what was there, what they were holding in their beautiful body. And we found that they had trapped so much, so many emotions inside of their body that was creating so many problems for themselves. So in the safety of the healing space, I gave permission for their body to release and let go. They felt feelings through crying, through feeling anger, just allowing it to move through their body. And then after that, 
they felt better. They felt release. They felt lighter. They felt themselves again. And they could get on with their life and start moving forward. And so over many years holding space for my clients as a healer, I witnessed the profound experiences that people would have when they simply felt their feelings and released their feelings. Miracles happened. Incredible healing happened. And it was all to do with creating space for my clients to feel their feelings and the safety of the space where they were going to be loved and held and received to let this alchemize and transform and then they'd blossom. The surface symptoms that they were challenged by would dissolve and melt away. They'd feel themselves again and they were able to move forward with their life. And later down the line, when I started receiving the guidance to work with money, to work with money really consciously and mindfully, and then business consciously and mindfully, a very similar principle applied. Although my mind, my brain was really confused about this. I didn't understand money. I didn't understand business at that time. And I had a lot of negative points of views and judgments about it. I started to realize that These money blocks, these blocks to receiving money, blocks to making more money, blocks to creating a happy, healthy, harmonious relationship with money, were along the similar lines of what I'd experienced as a healer. I found beneath the money blocks, beneath the money problems, beneath the surface symptoms of financial challenges in people's personal life or business, were along the similar line, that there was stuck energy, stuck emotions, stuck feelings that were creating undesirable results or symptoms in their finances, in their business. And I found the same for myself. When I took a deep, honest, and painful look at our financial reality and started asking questions about it, what's stopping me or blocking me from welcoming more money into my life, or what is unconsciously creating our current financial reality, what I found was that essentially there were feelings that I didn't want to feel. There was a whole mountain of negative beliefs around money, but under that, there were all these feelings that I didn't want to feel and that I'd been unconsciously suppressing, unconsciously locking away. And I began the journey of starting to unpick that defrosting feelings, as I like to call it, to make space to receive, make space for the new. So there are different levels to your feelings. There are the surface level feelings that you will be consciously aware of. But mostly we're aware of the surface level symptoms, and that can show up in all sorts of ways. How you're thinking, your reactions to things, your point of view, your perception, and that's more on the level of the mind. And underneath that, you'll have an agitated feeling. So that could be overwhelm or anxiety or anger or frustration or maybe even exhaustion. There'll be a level of feeling that you allow yourself to feel. It might be a little bit beneath the mind, an agitated or aggravated emotion. But I call that the frontline defense system. There is the level of emotions that you will allow yourself to experience, and that can often be a reactive feeling. And so part of money manifestation mastery is going through the process of defrosting your feelings, going deeper in. And I want to explain why, first of all. Because trapped feelings, feelings that you don't want to feel, block energy and they create separation. They keep you stuck. They keep you like a walking, talking head, unable to feel, unable to connect. And it creates separation between yourself and yourself. (laughs) It creates separation between yourself and other people. It creates separation between yourself and and life. It creates separation between yourself and your business. There's a disconnect. 
and it creates a stuckness or it keeps us in a survival mode. It keeps us in this hard-working, hustling, survival mode. In our natural state, what I've learned as a healer is it is very natural and normal for us to feel. And actually feeling your feelings when held in a really safe way creates an opportunity to release, to let go. And pent up feelings that you're not allowing yourself to feel create a lot of problems for us. A lot of problems. But one is our intimacy levels. Our ability to be intimate, not only with others, but with ourselves. Because if we're not deeply connected to ourself, how can we connect deeply to others? So it affects intimacy, which will show up in your relationships, in your sex life, how you're feeling about yourself. But of course, that mirrors out into all areas of your life, because wherever you go, there you are. It creates a sever of separation where there's a misalignment between your inner world and your outer world. There is an inauthenticity. So when you begin the journey of wanting to transform your money blocks, your blocks to receiving, your blocks to leveling up in your business, your blocks between where you are now and where you want to be, part of this journey is going to be learning how to feel. Now, what I want to make clear is this isn't about getting stuck in your feelings. So stuck in depression or stuck in anxiety or stuck in anger. This is about feeling your feelings so you can release and let them go. Let them move through you. (laughs) Poop them through you into the toilet, so to speak. We want to cleanse you or detox you. Move those feelings through you so you can liberate yourself, liberate your energy. Because on the other side of trapped and stuck feelings is your true authentic self, life force energy, energy, creativity, joy, hope, positivity, potential, power, prosperity. There is a lot ready and waiting for you on the other side of your feelings. That's why I call this the fortune in your feelings. But again, it is counterintuitive and everything in you is going to want to fight against that. So what I learned a long time ago as a healer is how to create a safe space to feel your feelings. So you're not unconsciously venting onto other people, attacking other people, blaming other people, doing all of this behavior, all of this energy being used in a negative, unhealthy, unhelpful way, or suppressing your feelings through all sorts of behavior that don't feed you in the long term, addictive cycles of behavior. Maybe unhealthy spending habits, eating habits, drinking, drugs, porn, social media, workaholism, all of these things that we do to avoid feeling, to suppress those feelings, to keep them on lockdown, over time start to become very problematic. And the symptoms of suppressed and shut down feelings will show up in all sorts of ways mental health issues, emotional imbalances, physical health issues, relationship issues, problems in your team, problems in your business, problems in your finances, how you lead or don't lead in your business, in your finances, and in your life. Your suppressed feelings are blocking your life force energy, your creative energy, your true essence, and your power. And that is not okay with me. So I'm here to help you to create a safe space to release how to feel these feelings in a healthy, happy, and harmonious way. At first, it won't feel good, but when you give yourself enough space, eventually they'll begin to release, dissolve, defrost, and liberate you into a new level of being. 
So there are a number of practical ways to feel your feelings. But one thing I would say is you may need facilitation. This is where getting body work can really help, like a massage or healing, being held by a professional. Talking therapy can help, where the therapist can help you identify and feel your feelings. Moving your body can be really helpful, maybe through dance, movement, yoga, for example. You can feel your feelings through creative expression like art. I love journaling as a way to process. You can write out your feelings, vent them out, or through meditation, simply breathing and being present with your feelings. Essentially, you want to create space to be present with your feelings and not get identified with them, not get sucked into the story of the feelings, but just to let them move through you. So you might want to feel the sensations in your body. How does your body feel? You might want to feel the feelings as they arrive. It might start with anger or frustration or exhaustion. And then through writing or meditation or movement or facilitation or creativity of some kind, you start to move through the layers of different levels of feelings. There'll be your frontline defense feelings. And then as you journey deeper and deeper into them, you'll start getting deeper and deeper into more and more vulnerable feelings. So your frontline defense may be anger, for example. And then as you filter your way down and through, you might start to feel overwhelm, stress. Then you might start to feel anxiety, fear. And as you go deeper, you may feel sadness. You may feel grief. As you go deeper and deeper, you may feel alone, alone in this world, unloved, unmet, unheard, unsupported. And what I found at the bottom of the barrel of these feelings is usually some kind of grief and feelings of aloneness. And all you need to do with feelings, to feel your feelings, and uncover the fortune in your feelings, is to be the witness to breathe with them, to feel them through your body, to let them move, because feelings are energy. And we want to take that trapped, stuck energy and start to move it through you. Because that stuck, trapped feeling is keeping you stuck and trapped in cycles, patterns of behavior, unable to move forward. And this is what I found with my journey with eating disorders and my terrible relationship with food, my terrible relationship with myself, my terrible relationship with money, that as I dug deeper, I found some very deep, dark feelings that I simply didn't want to feel or I didn't know how to feel, that I'd never been held in before. And on a basic level, feeling feelings is a skill. Learning how to feel is a skill. But also, ideally, we're taught how to feel. And in time, when you hold that safe space for yourself or you're held in a safe space facilitated by others, your nervous system begins to regulate. You start to ground and connect and come home to yourself. And from this place, we begin the process of rewiring to receive Because from there, you want to learn how to love yourself, to meet yourself, to hear yourself, to know yourself in the deepest depths of who you are. And here is where we start to move energy and transform these money blocks, and open up to receiving. And this all happens in the deepest depths of vulnerability. And connection happens when we are connected to ourself and you connect to yourself, when you're connected to your feelings, you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable and open. 
And as you hold space to feel your feelings and allow them to move through you, you'll notice that these feelings change and your thoughts about the feelings change and your reactions to the feelings change. And eventually, eventually, you come home to a place of peace and stillness and connection. And you'll find that you've landed on a new level or a new floor or a new ground within yourself. You're coming home to meet yourself and know yourself on a new level. And this new level is different, although it's familiar. Feeling your feelings cuts through all of the old patterns, programs, belief, stories that are keeping you stuck in cycles of survival, of unnecessary pain and challenge. And so as you learn to feel your feelings, you're melting away the old letting the old world, the old stories dissolve and releasing yourself, liberating yourself from old systems of oppression and suppression, of hurt and harm, either towards yourself or towards others or both. So there are healthy ways and unhealthy ways to feel your feelings, to manage your feelings, the reactive frontline defense system or feeling your feelings in a way that is held and facilitated, creating a safe space to feel. And this is what your daily money manifestation mastery practice is designed to do, a daily practice to release, to let go, to transform, to feel your feelings, let them move through you so that you can come back into connection, come back into alignment, liberate yourself, free yourself, so you can take action moving forward from a deeper, richer, and rooted place within and without. And please be aware that some of your feelings are hiding in the shadows of shame and pain. They are in blind spots. You are buffering avoiding, not wanting to feel the feels. We do all sorts of extraordinary things to simply not feel a feeling. But please remember, whatever feeling you're feeling is simply that, a feeling. And when you breathe and be and stay present with any feeling, it will transform. It will dissolve. This too shall change. One breath, one moment at a time. Thank you for joining us for today's conversation, The Fortune in Your Feelings. I would love to know what is alive for you in today's conversation. Head over to my website, laurawaldman.com. Send me a message and let me know what gold you are gathering from these conversations. I would love to hear. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this podcast. Follow this podcast to never miss an episode. And I'd love to ask you to take a moment to review this episode. This will help others to also find this podcast to support them on their money manifestation mastery journey. And if you would like to dive even deeper into this work, to feel your feelings, to transform your money blocks and welcome in, open up to receive the next level of wealth in your business, in your finances, in your life, I'd love to invite you to join me for my upcoming wealth retreat. This is a free online event for big hearted business owners and entrepreneurs here to make waves in this world. We are the wealthy warriors waking up our wealth to create powerful impact, not only to your life, but to the lives of others as well. I'd love to see you there. So visit my website, laurawaldman.com. Click on the wealth retreat and book your free place now. I look forward to being with you again next time.